In this video, we are going to fix Steam Update Queued problem. Despite being a giant in the gaming industry, Steam also experiences different bizarre problems and errors. One of, the, one of them is when Steam fails to update or download any game. The game may be stuck as queued or may be downloading at 0 bytes per second. This problem can occur due to many different reasons. It all depends on your software and hardware as all the users have different configurations. That's why we listed all the methods which attempt to fix the problems. You can go through all of them and see which one works for you. So now we are going to show you different solutions that we have uh, planned for this video. So, as a first solution, uh, we'll recommend to restart your computer. It's likely that you didn't restart your client after Steam got updated or if you installed a fresh game. Uh, whenever an installation or download takes place, a lot of configuration occur and it is necessary to restart your PC for them to take place. Simple reboot of your PC and try running the game again. If the problem persists, we can move forward and we can see the solutions which are next to this one okay so if you have restarted your computer and the problem still persist uh, we have second solution which is to cha uh, check your date and time like we mentioned before steam has a date counter a download or update doesn't start unless it has a correct time check if your date or time is wrong according to your region the time check won't be possible, hence Steam will not download any game. To check this, press Windows and R key. In the run dialog, type ms-settings. Ms settings, and there is a column. Okay, so on Windows setting page, we'll select time and language. Once we are in time and language, we say set time automatically and set time zone automatically. If you have a wrong time and a wrong date, this you can have problems with steam download so uncheck them and click on the options which says change date and time so I'm gonna turn off set time automatically and set time zone automatically to off and then I'm going to click change button to set my date and time in this window you will select your date correct date and correct time and then we'll click on change save the changes and check if the problem is resolved if it still doesn't work we try changing the date back and forth a bit uh, it's just a wild guess but it is worth a shot as it worked for some of the users if this one fails too we can move on to our next solution our next solution is to change the download region Steam has divided its services into different geographical regions. There are different servers implemented at these locations and by default the server closest to you is set as your download server. So if you want to change your uh, download region, we'll launch our Steam client. click on steam menu and click on settings in the settings we go to downloads tab and from download region we select the appropriate region for our downloads let's say US Chicago so once you have selected the correct region click on OK save the changes you might need to restart your steam client 
uh, for the changes to take effect. Once done, try downloading the games or uh, try try downloading the games again and see if that works for you. Our fourth solution is to cancel all other download queue. If there are more than one download or update queues present in your Steam library, you should cancel them and try to update or download only one game at a time. This is very important as your Steam client can get overwhelmed by a number of requests it has to process. So uh, just make sure that you have uh, one download in queue at any given time and you have select and you can try to download your games one by one. The next solution is to log out and then log in again. Launch your Steam client. Log out from Steam client by clicking click on your name on top right corner and click log off log out of account. Click on log out button. When it's done, we are Steam. Provide your username and password again. Put a check on remember my password and then click on login. Once you are logged in, try to play the game and check if the error ha is fixed. If it's not, then we have one more solution with us, which is to change maximum bandwidth. There can be another conflict between your internet connection and your disk write speed. Your internet connection might be too fast, while disk write speeds always have their limitations. We can try reducing our bandwidth to something acceptable and then we'll restart the Steam. So we we'll click on Steam menu and then click on settings. In settings we go to downloads tab and here you'll see download restrictions uh, under download region option. So we will be configuring limit bandwidth option and here we can select a reasonable option let's say three minutes per second once it is done save the changes and then restart your steam client and see if the problem is fixed the next solution that we have is to flush steam configuration files and dns press windows and r key type steam colon forward slash forward slash flush config and then press enter click on ok now once it is done it will ask you to re-enter your username and password do not try this method if you do not have access to your login details once done press windows and R key again type CMD and press enter. In the command prompt type ipconfig slash flush dns and hit enter. Once the command completes, restart your computer and then restart or relaunch Steam and see if the problem is resolved. So Assuming that if your problem is still not resolved, we have another solution which is to add exception in your antivirus and disabling firewall. So first thing about firewall and how we can disable it, click on start menu, type firewall, select windows firewall from the results. choose the option turn windows firewall on or off turn off the firewall for private networks and then turn off windows firewall for the public networks click on ok once you have turned off the firewall try to run the game 
and uh, use stream again and see if the problem is fixed. If not, and y you also have an antivirus, you'll need to add exception for steam in your antivirus. Our next solution is to restart the router manually. First option is to manually restart your router. Turn off your router and then turn it back on and check if the problem persists. If not, then we'll have we'll have to try resetting the router which is hard reset manually and see if that improves our situation normally uh, routers have a button available um, on the back side uh, which says reset generally we need to press and hold the reset button to restore the factory defaults it is worth to note that after you manually reset your router, your router won't have any SSID password or the name of your Wi-Fi will be set to default if you have, uh, if you were using a changed name. Furthermore, any internet settings that your internet provider have set on it will be removed. So you, we don't want, we do not recommend to perform this method unless you know those settings or your router works as a plug and play. Our next solution is to reset settings of your router through the web. Open your web browser and type in your router's address. Normally it is 192.168.1.1. In our case we have 10 here. Normally the IP address of router is 192.168.1.1 or 0 0.1. So let's try with 192.168.0.1 which is our uh, router's address. Uh, default username and password for routers is normally admin or admin. You can find your default password on router's box or it might be written on the router itself. Once you are logged in to your router see the option to reset your router uh, under system or maintenance tab uh, click on reset and your router will reset its settings to default and then you can follow uh, and then you can reconfigure your router and see if that improves the situation the last solution uh, for this issue that we have is to update your wireless device so let's exit this out. Press Windows and R key. Type D E V M G M T dot M S C, which is device management dot M S C. Now, in Device Manager, find out your wireless network card. Let's assume this one is your wireless network card. Right-click on your network card and click on Update Drivers. Now Windows will ask you to whether you want to update it automatically or manually. Select automatic and then wait for the drivers to get updated. Once done, restart Steam and try downloading and updating the game again and see if your problem is fixed. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.